If the market continues to collapse more on the hyped up tech side of the indexes than on the manufacturing side, the trendy dynamics of EV stocks may flip. It does not appear to be any concern among present investors about any of this, unless of course you're a well-established automaker with a global parts and service network in place. A substantial component of your appraisal process is dependent on real-world facts including company sales, profit margins, and product recalls. So, why aren't the same standards applied to all car companies? Sandy Monroe had some criticisms for Lucid during the pre-production period, but it's been a while and Sandy's current attitude has changed once production began. Where though does he differ from CEO Peter Rawlinson? Hello and welcome back to Emotion. In today's video, we will get into the details of Sandy Monroe's opinion on Lucid and why he fired back at Rawlinson, the CEO of Lucid. Let's get started. Initial Impressions of Sandy and Lucid Sandy Monroe is the founder and CEO of Monroe & Associates, Inc., a firm he built from the ground up in the United States. He's widely recognized as a brilliant innovator, and his lean design methodology has aided numerous major automakers in catapulting their products to market supremacy. However, there is a widespread belief among some that he has a negative influence. At the recent Los Angeles Auto Show, Alex Gupperman of e for electric had the opportunity to speak with Sandy Monroe about EV efficiency and to ask him questions about Lucid. When it comes to Lucid's flagship air model, the business recently achieved an astounding efficiency range of 520 miles or 837 kilometers, as well as fast charging results. Sandy was reluctant to discuss the American automaker a year or so ago because there were no air cars in the road at the time. However, now that the air sedans have been delivered, the innovator is highly impressed with the Californian Enterprise. Sandy Monroe adds in the interview that he considers the Lucid team to be one of the best and admires their achievements. When questioned about his thoughts on Lucid Motors, he stated that Lucid Motors puts everything on a list, organizes everything, and has the best engineering and management team, which he refers to as Apex. Sandy mocks back at Peter's opinion on 4680 battery. Even after his comments in the interview, Sandy Monroe is not a fan of Lucid. CEO and CTO Peter Rollinson's thoughts on Tesla's cylindrical cell format of the 4680 type. When Alex Government specifically questioned it, Peter Rawlinson stated that people are viewing the 4680 as a big breakthrough which is simply not the case. Sandy Monroe emphasizes Lucid's technological advantage and innovation now that sales have commenced and the Californian firm has surpassed Tesla as a leader in both longest EV range and the shortest charging periods. Sandy on the other hand reacts badly to Peter Rawlinson's assertion that Tesla's 4680 battery technology is fiction rather than battery progress. Sandy Monroe sought to respond without using profanity, despite the fact that he strongly disagrees with Peter Rawlinson's viewpoint. Sandy claims that the 4680 type cylindrical cells are significantly lighter than other cell kinds such as the smaller ones. Using larger containers rather than several smaller ones reduces the weight of the outer coating material while also allowing for enhanced power generation and efficiency. He appeared to be very secure of the tremendous improvement that will result from the addition of those specific cells. Sandy Monroe believes Rawlinson's position on the 4680 cells was more of a mainstream press attempt to incite the debate. A brief on the latest updates of 4680 battery. In March 2022, Panasonic expects to begin trial manufacturing of 4680 batteries in Japan. They recently announced to the Wall Street Journal that they have released a 4680 cylindrical lithium battery with a capacity that's five times higher for mass production more than a year after Tesla Battery Day launched a new battery design. Panasonic expects to begin trial production of 4680 batteries in Japan in March 2022, according to Kazuo Tadanobu, head of Panasonic's battery section. Panasonic also stated last month that by April 2022, it would establish a new energy business entity called Panasonic Energy Corporation. Panasonic also launched a 4680 battery test line in Japan this year. In the future, Tesla wants to raise the output of 4680 batteries over 100 times by 2030 by using this background. Surprisingly, Tadanobu Kazuo stated in this roundtable discussion that Panasonic has no intentions to produce cheaper lithium iron phosphate or LFB batteries for more affordable electric vehicles. According to reliable sources, Tesla is planning to use BYD's Blade batteries in the Model Y. Apple, according to reports, is on the lookout for LFB battery providers. If you're interested in other fascinating things about Lucid Motors, then make sure to check out our video on Lucid Motors, what Lucid just did to Elon Musk and Tesla, and why it changes everything. You can go check this out after the video. Sandy to explore Air's automobile parts According to what was said during the interview, Monroe & Associates want to buy Lucid Air in order to dismantle it, 
and look for any inventive alternatives that may be explored and marketed in depth in the following reports. Following the Tesla Model S Plaid, Rivian R1T, Ford F-150 Lightning, and many others, Monroe will disassemble the air sedan in order to steal the startup's technology. In terms of charging capability, Sandy Monroe clearly believes that greater voltage improves the efficiency of the drive units, but it's up to the manufacturer to find suppliers. When you're talking about the power to go from 400 to 900, that's a tremendous thing, he said in an interview. That's a huge difference, and you're wondering, how are they doing it? That's one method. The more voltage you have, the more likely it is that you'll be able to make those electric motors move or operate better. And that's similar to what I believe they've done to improve efficiency. So I'm on board. When Alex asked if there were any drawbacks to using the more expensive 800 or 900 volts, Monroe replied, No. The only thing left is to identify providers who can provide you with what you require. When it comes to componentry involved with 900 volts, it's vastly different from what everyone else is currently using. But God bless them if Lucid goes in there and talks to their supply community and figures out how to make everything function at 900 volts, that's a good thing. Lucid utilizes nearly twice the voltage to decrease current at the same power level as Tesla, Porsche, and Hyundai Motor Group. Channel Motors' LTM battery technology is also driven by an 800-volt system. Chinese companies, most notably BYD and Seeker, have lately manufactured 800-volt systems. That seems like the most natural course of action since it paves the way for the next big thing in the EV sector. For the time being, Sandy Monroe expects that Tesla will maintain the voltage at 400 volts or higher while switching to the new 4680 battery cells. Despite the fact that industry experts feel it's all speculation, the general trend is to boost the voltage to a much greater level, which is fair from the standpoint of the drive unit and necessary for speedy charging. Lucid stock Lucid is on the trend. Nonetheless, Lucid's prospective low entry level pricing point has piqued the interest of a huge number of investors. While Rivian's IPO caused some consternation, it had no detrimental influence in the luxury automaker stock. Automobile enthusiasts from Motor Trend magazine in particular described a review of Lucid's new product by claiming that the Air is not just the most alluring American luxury vehicle in recent memory, but it's also a brilliant rethinking of what a premium sedan should be. For this and other reasons, traders are keeping an eye on Lucid's stock as it prepares for yet another entry-level buy position in the market. And when the SEC makes its verdict on the Californian company, investors will take it very seriously. Bullish investors in the company anticipate that the company will fulfill its production targets for the year ahead and continue to grow. Those who are skeptical of the startup believe that it'll fail to fulfill its production targets and would struggle to differentiate itself in a crowded electric vehicle market. Observant investors who have been paying attention over the previous month may have noticed a green light for the stock to be purchased soon, followed by a red light for this hot electric vehicle firm. Investors should not be surprised if the lucid price decreases by half in a matter of days if there are any negative headlines or setbacks. Although the SEC may begin an investigation, the company's existing reservation numbers and aggressive development goals much outweigh the risk of a probe. As a result, the good signal appears to be outweighing the red and Lucid's stock may still be worth considering. With that information, we've reached the end of today's video. What are your thoughts on the scenario? Even with Lucid, how do you think Sandy Monroe's dismantling of the elusive EV will affect the brand and its stock? Comment below. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we can't wait to have you back. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you soon.